Ladies and gents, welcome back to Maypole Farm. I am in the middle of harvesting this small barley field for a measly pittance of barley. I think the next field is wheat, so I'm going to actually have to sell this. I don't really have any storage facilities right now. Once again, on the build your own farm scenario, you don't you have to build your own silos, and I didn't have enough money to build a silo. So I have to kind of sell stuff as I harvest it, but I think with this farm we're going to be constantly stockpiling food, so there won't be a whole lot of cell harvests. We're mostly going to be um, storing product and feeding it to our animals. So, <coughs> In fact, at some point I may sell that second tipper if I find that we're not delivering stuff with it. And I would say this is probably the biggest harvest. It would be nice to have a, a little bit bigger harvester header. But honestly, for these size fields, this harvester really has enough of what we need to do this quickly. It's the right harvester for this field. And the only field we're going to be harvesting from this point forward is that one back there, the number, number 53 up there. 51, 52, and 50 are all going to be grass, so... And I need to make silage. So unfortunately, at some point too, I'd like to get a chop harvester. Then we could grow corn too, but that's that's down the road. If we, the farm gets big enough, I think right now we'll be okay with what we have. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so I'm going to finish harvesting this field, and I will be back once I'm done. All right, I'm just finishing up here, and I got one or two more passes, and we'll be all set. And I've tried to make the rows nice and neat so it's easy to collect with the collection wagon. Once again, there's just not a whole lot of room to work on this uh, field. I've had to, it takes a little longer than it normally would because I've had to just back up down the lane. You can't really turn the harvester around in here. Uh, but we did get about 4,000. Actually, I might even have to unload before I finish. I'm going to go do that right, right quick here. Um, so I've got a decent amount of grain off the field. Ease our way through here. <laughs> so tight. <laughs> and we're going to unload the harvester. Already liking this farm. I seem to enjoy the small, as I've played the game, like the big farms are fun, but after a while, it you, you have to do stuff for a lot longer um, because the fields are so much larger. I kind of like these small farms because you're constantly doing different things. Like it, it seems like you're always working on different different stuff each, each you know, couple minutes. There's something new to do. And so I think it's fun to play these for let's play farms because they're just there's always something different going on um, once again there's just not a lot of room to work here let's get this guy back in action here finish up these last two rows and we'll move on to the wheat harvest but I gotta sell that first so for it we'll run down to the grain store because we haven't seen that yet the grain area I'm hoping there's a lime station down there that I don't have to actually buy lime pallets but I didn't see a lime thing on the map so we'll have to see hopefully there is one oops <coughs> don't break the header So it's nice because they gave us some crop to start with. Give us a little bit more money, not much. I think that that tipper load will probably bring in maybe two or three thousand dollars, and then um, this next field I think we'll get a maybe a half a tipper, and that probably more like four or five thousand. We're not going to get a ton of money for this. Now, one of the things that they did set in this game is that you can change the economy now. So if I wanted to play it a little bit easier, I could set it on easy, but I'm going to leave it on medium here. 
and uh, go down the work hard for your money route. Uh, once again, we're not doing the starting from scratch. I don't really, I've played starting from scratch, but it's so hard to make money. It's not, I don't know, I guess if you really want to do it, it it's, it's doable, but it's, I just think this is a little bit more fun. You have a little bit more money to play with and you can really kind of set up a nice farm, kind of like we've done here, so. All right, so we're going to unload this. All right, I'm going to pull this around the corner here and get it out of the way. And we'll go ahead and deliver that load. Let's see who's giving us the best price. I would imagine there's only, I think there's only one store on this map, so... <laughs> there's not a lot of pick. Yeah, there's just one, the grain mill. Uh, so let's see where that's at. Right now, barley's at a low, actually, so kind of get skunked. But we're gonna end up making about a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks off this load. But what can you do? I the blinker on. Oh, I do. <laughs> Old man. You need to blink around. All right, so let's work our way down to the store. So once again, if you like that tight farming, close quarters type deal, this is a good map. And once again, this is Maypole. Um... And I'm, I like it actually. Once again, I like these small farms. It is a little bit close, close quarters though, so you have to like that. But oh, sorry about that. I'm not streaming right now, but I do still get notifications when I get notifications. So if you hear that blue, 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 that's because someone subscribed to the channel, which is cool, or at least followed the channel. All right, so here's a turn. And there is our grain cell point. Looks like that's also the animal dealer, though. We're going to buy stuff. Here's the entrance right here. It's not marked very well. Oh, oh it's way up there, too. You're not going to get any of those semi-trucks up here. Not that you get the semi-truck down the road either, but... <laughs> oh, there's the BGA, too. Very simple machine. They got the Silo King right there. Hmm. Interesting. No trigger. What? Oh, I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. It's over here. That's a little bit more like it. I don't. What do you deliver there then? Maybe that's for the animals. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And so, oh, not better than I thought. We made about three thousand dollars. So, all right, I'm gonna head back to the farm. I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, we're pulling in back home, and I am gonna deliver this back to our parking spot. Actually, gonna try to find a closer spot. Um, as we harvest that field, um, we need to let's find a more convenient spot so I don't have to drive the harvester all the way back down the the lane. But once again, it's just so crowded on this map. A little bit like well. Uh, probably really is. All right, perfect. There's a spot right here for us to park. You can edge the tractor in right here. And we'll jump out. And one thing I want to change here, I always like to do the auto start myself. Um, we want traffic on dirt normal. 
off. Okay, and then we want to have these off. I always turn those off so that my workers don't buy stuff. I don't know that I'll be using workers on this map because there's, it's so small. But all right, where is my little harvester? <laughs> where did I leave it? Here it is. You know, to be honest with you, I probably could have gone with the small silo. <laughs> you can see here, like, it's way overkill. I don't think I'd get enough material off this farm to fill that thing up. Even if I did corn and chaffed it. We may have to save some of our money to do that, too. Um, maybe the first round we'll rent some stuff and make, make a lot of silage doing corn. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. So we'll, we'll rent a uh, corn seeder and then we'll rent a small silage uh, forge harvester or a sm uh, tractor that can pull the, the pull behind one and we'll make some forage. Once again, I think we're going to have to attack this field the way that we've been doing these other fields and it's going to be in a row by row type setup. So I'm going to go down. Yeah, here's wheat. And I'll back out and then do another strip. And that's how we're going to have to, to attack these fields because they're just so narrow. <coughs> Pardon me. We should be able to get a decent amount of grass off of these, though. But once again, first we're going to plant them all with corn. And then we'll plow them. We'll make the silage. We'll plow them. And then we'll, we'll uh, plant them with our grass. So I'm not going to buy any animals yet. Not even sure how we're going to afford the animals at this point. But we can, like I said, we have three crops that we're going to be selling. So hopefully that'll bring us enough income in to to make this or to get the materials that we need. We'll see if this all works out. Maypole farm. Brokated. Um, our other option, if we end up with not enough money after we do the corn silage, is to grow some bumper crops on these fields, and then and then move once we've sold the the product, then move to the animals. But we'll see how it all works out. Once again, the hard thing is that these fields aren't going to produce a lot of material, so that's our biggest challenge. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and get this field harvested. I'll be back momentarily. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I am finishing up the last row here of the harvest. And you can see this... <laughs> Small header makes very little piles of hay. I think I'm going to actually windrow some of this together. Because running the collection wagon on these small fields is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. So I think windrowing would actually make it a little bit easier uh, to get there. Uh, but we're done with the harvester for now. I'm going to dump this out. We'll sell the wheat that we have. I think I'm going to sell that tipper. Um, and maybe buy a smaller one. Because now I think about it, we don't get much product off these fields. The most This is probably the most that we're going to get off the fields that we're going to sell. And... I don't know. I got to think about how to do this. I think the first thing we're going to need to do is do corn and make silage. So I only need one tipper for all of those operations. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and sell the tip. I, I should have bought just one tipper. I might actually. Let's see here. Um, hold on one second, folks. All right, so here we go. We're going to dump this out. Let's see how much grain we got out of this. It's probably less than 12,000. Oh, 12,000. So I'm thinking we could buy... I don't even think we need a second tipper. I'm just trying to think about how to do this the right way. We could even put the oats in a small building or something like that. Just like an oat building. Let's take a look here and see what we got. 10,000. Yeah. 
I mean, I could get away with a smaller tipper. That's off of just this field. Once again, though, we're not going to be growing any other crops, so I, I got to think about how to do that the right way. So 51 is harvested. We're going to get on the road here for 53, and I'm going to just park the harvester in the back for tonight. Uh, these crops are almost ready to spring. Once they've sprug, we'll uh, harvest them. I might try to run the sprayer on these real quick before we do anything else, just because I think they need one more level of fertilizer. So I'm going to pull this harvester around the corner here. It's the only problem with this map, and this is where you get into the in-cab stuff, because the trees are so close to everything that you have to go into the cab to actually see where you're driving, which is, for all those poor guys that drive harvesters, never an easy task. All right, so she's off, and let's see how we're doing. Oh, this has no fertilization whatsoever, so that sucks. We're only going to get 50% in, but we need to do it, because that's going to increase the yield. About 10, 15%. So let's go ahead and sell the tipper, sell the product, and we'll get our sprayer out here and get that done. Um, we'll have to put some care wheels on the tractor. But I think, once again, we don't need the two tippers. I just need the one. So as money gets tight, you know, part of me wonders if I should have gotten a little bit bigger tractor too. But I think the tractor will be fine for what we're doing. We'll find out. This is the kind of fun about starting new farms and trying to do different things. Let's go ahead and get through the, the forest here. Once again, the easy thing about this map is there's only one place to really sell stuff, so <laughs> we don't have to drive all over the map trying to find our way to the sell points there. There's only one spot, so there's our cute little homestead. So I'm going to drive down to the sh the uh, the uh, cell point, and I'll see you there. All right, we're pulling into the grain cell area. And uh, once again, we've learned our lesson. It's not the one on the left. It's the one on the right. The one on the left is where we buy animals. Once again, it doesn't look like a very friendly place for a truck. So you might just want to get a trailer for this map. But I'm not going to transport my own animals. I'm just going to buy them and pay the transport fees, because the fees aren't too bad. At two, two, three hundred dollars an animal. I think the horses might be five hundred. So there we go. There's a little income from the harvest, 6,000. Not great, but not a very big field that we were pulling from either. So let's go ahead and run back up to the shop. And I'm going to sell this tipper, and we'll grab the, uh, w the uh, sprayer, get some fertilizer, and pop it in there. And then we should be all good to go. Ready for the harvest tomorrow or whenever tonight, later. It's already evening now. This map was interesting. They started me out in the evening. They didn't start me in the morning like they usually do. So you have a little less time to prep the farm. But uh, now, obviously, that oat field needed plowing. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna rent a culty plow and just do it that way because um, it's with this small tractor, it's got enough horsepower to pull those culty plows, and the the agri sum probably will work fine. Or the the coon. Kun, Kun, however you pronounce it. So we're almost over to the shop now. And uh, we're trying to... St I think I'm driving on the right side of the road, right? <laughs> we're in uh, the UK, so this is the UK side to drive on. I'm pretty sure Maypole is a UK map, so... Where's the driveway? That's not it. There's all our stuff at the shop. Let's go ahead and sell this tipper and make some money back. Once again, it was a, rec a reckless purchase. That happens from time to time. Oops. Let's go ahead and drop this off. I think we have everything that we need, though. Pretty sure. So I'm going to sell that. Yep. Are you sure you want to sell this vehicle? Yeah. Yep. And it was $24,000. So we lost you know, like two or $3,000 on it. So I've lost $6,000 already on this map from missed purchases. Um, let's go ahead and grab our sprayer and our weight. So this is definitely going to be heavy. It's the smallest one we got, but it's eh, it's not too bad. But it definitely is putting a lot of weight on the back of the tractor. So let's go ahead and put this on. And, oops. And I need to purchase some spray. So let's go ahead and do that. Pallets. 
fertilizer tank. Just buy one. There should be plenty. Now the nice thing about doing grass is that we're not going to need to um, use as much spray because we only need one fertilization on the grass. Makes our life a little bit easier. Oops. And our driveway should be right up here on the left. I mean on the right. <laughs> Other left. Cattle crossing. Hope my cows don't get out. There's a cornfield right there ready for harvest. <laughs> we could have used that. And so we make our way back to the farm. There's our little homestead. <laughs> and we need to make a stop at the shop and get our care wheels on. That's going to cost us because I haven't purchased care wheels yet for this tractor. But that's how it goes. Hopefully it'll allow us to do the tractor. If not, I'll have to take whatever off. That's Sometimes it goes right for the weight or for the... There we go. Customize the tractor. And we need to put our skinny tires on. There we go. Care wheels. Customize that. Yep. Not too bad. Yeah, let's get this ugly care wheel tractor out to the field. <laughs> I hate care wheels, but... They are necessary, so here we go. Let's go out to the field. <laughs> nope, I went the wrong way. <laughs> someday these will be ours. Someday all, someday all of this will be ours. The nice thing is they, these maps, they, you, you get a couple fields with each purchase, but they're real small. So there's a trade-off, but you do get a couple fields, so. Is this it? Nope. Next. This is it. <laughs> Both of these are our fields, but I went to the wrong. The wrong turn-off. Uh, okay, this goes this way. This goes to our field over here. We don't own number 54. Our neighbor does. So it's kind of an interesting setup. And let's go ahead and get this sprayer unfolded. Man, I hope there's room for it. All right, so she's unfolded all the way, and wow, it's a lot bigger than... Okay, need to rethink this here. All right, so let's go ahead and get the sprayer started, and we're going to run along the outside. This is going to be a pain in the butt because I cannot see what I'm doing. We're just going to have to do some guesswork here. And they haven't done the whole field either. They've left some space. I guess maybe that's good to have some headlands. I wish I could just hire a worker and have them do it, but but no. I'm gonna try to do straight lines for after I do this, we'll try to make it straighter and straighter so that we get the whole field covered.
trying to remember exactly where the point is of my sprayer. Wait, stop. I guess if it's not perfect, it's our first harvest. And then we'll try to run. Let's see. If I go... Mm. <laughs> None of this is turning out the way I wanted it to. We can kind of see our tire tracks where we've been. But this is why, if you have, this is where the GPS mod would come in well, except for the hard part is that we're on a curve, so it's really, really hard to tell without seeing an, in a direct, like this is what's fertilized, heads up display. Uh, we're just kind of guessing, it's guesswork right now. So we're going to waste some spray, over, over spraying. At least we shouldn't get weeds. Turn that off here, and we'll go over here and make some straight lines now. I do like this map, though. I really, it's, it's once again, perfect for these small, if you like running the smaller equipment, oops, and uh, run small tractors. You can kind of get into a lot of stuff at once when you first start, even when you don't have a lot of money. Um, I can still, you know, get animals going and get, you know, buildings built and stuff like that without, you know, sacrificing the amount of equipment that I have or missing out on pieces of equipment that I need to do what I'm doing. So, I mean, surprisingly, we do have a big loan, but we, we still have, you know, $136,000 left after all of our purchases and, if I had purchased properly and not bought stuff I didn't need, we'd actually have even more. I would say we're going to overlap here shortly. It's, again, it's really hard to tell where I've been. Pretty much impossible. So we'll have to take a look at the map and see what we've done. We're going to go down here to growth. And I need to turn the needs plowing off so I can actually see when these lime too. I'm just going to lime all the fields when we're done so that we don't have to do it. I think the ones that we put grass on, we don't need to lime after that. So I've missed a little spot to my right. That's okay, but we can, we've can. we mostly gotten most of what we needed here. So we're going to do this section here. Basically make a big wide U-turn and just go back and forth here. Probably raise that sprayer up a little bit so we're not damaging the plants. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, honestly. We're just role playing. And we're going to roll this around. Oh, 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 oh. Roll this around. Uh oh. <laughs> Lame. Once again, this is our biggest field, and it is going to remain an oat field. We are going to keep planting oats on this field. But the first round we're going to do is corn. I need to get a bunch of chaff for the cows so we can make silage. Um, so we're going to be on hold for a little bit. We don't have any hay. We don't have anything to feed the, the cows or the horses. The oats... Hmm. We'll put in a tipper, and we'll... I, I'm trying to think of how to do the oats, actually. Once again, that's why I, I kind of do need a second tipper. Just not that big. So maybe what I'll do is I'll get a... We'll see what comes off this field. The oats don't produce really well. Uh, we'll see how many come off this field the first time, and then I'll buy a tipper according to that. Maybe we still have to buy another big one like that, but I think that we'll get... Like ten to 12,000 capacity should be enough for that storage tipper. So maybe the small Stroutman with the upgrades. There we go. So we have one round of fertilizer on that, no weeds, and it needs plowing. So we're not going to get a great result off this first field. 
But the most we can get is about 165%. So we'll know that if we get 125%, we can expect about 50% more. Um, so if we get like 10,000 liters off the field, we know that it's going to be 15 when everything's done right. Um, so let's go ahead. We've done the spraying now. I'm going to go ahead and grab the wind rower from the, the shop. And we're going to start wind rowing these uh, straw swaths. And then we'll collect them and put them in our, our straw barn for storage. Once again, eventually we will have um, cows and horses probably pretty quickly. I just I need to get through these first couple crops um, to put together the um, <coughs> pardon me the corn. We might even do a soybean or two uh, harvest to get a little bit more money in, uh, and then convert everything over to food production. So it may take us a couple rounds to get there, but there's that. We're gonna go out in the main road here. And we're going to windrow. So I'm actually going to change the tires before I go out. Get our standard tractor tires back on. There we go. Nope, I don't want to make them wide. Wait. There we go. Wide tires are fine as long as they don't. I, want, I don't want to pay any money, I guess. Let's get this guy going. To the shop. So I'm going to go grab the windrower. I'll meet you guys back here once I have it. All right, we're arriving back at the farm. There is this little curve here that's a little bit tricky with longer items. As I found out with the tipper, I've gotten stuck here twice. It's a road not made for modern farming equipment. So this windrower is actually a little big for this farm, but... It fit, so we're okay. Didn't scrap up, scrape up the paint. Uh, we need to go this way. There we go. And we're gonna run row this in like three easy passes. Now the nice thing about this wind rower is it has no horsepower requirements other than the power to pull it. So it works great with the small tractors. We there we go. There's one pass. <clears throat> Two passes. Lift and tuck. Lift and drag. This is the super exciting part of farming. Windrowing the smallest field on earth. It takes more time to turn than it does to actually do the windrowing. Missed a little bit there, but that's all right. Once again, this will make it easier to collect, is why we're doing this. And I'll fold that up. And move on to the bigger field that we finished. And then the oats will also have straw that we can collect. And we're going to store all this and keep it for our cows and horses. Um, I think, yeah, both of them need a lot of straw, actually. And these fields aren't going to make a whole lot. <laughs> But what, do you, what can you do? You use what you're given. Here's the tricky part is getting this. It's so narrow. Like this area here. As the sun sets, we're going to turn our lighting on and see a little better.
the tractor shifted down a gear. So we were hoping for a manual gearbox. The tractors actually do make shifting noises. And I think they implemented that with the last patch. I don't remember it doing it at first, but now it does it. Let's go ahead and grab this. So the game so far, I'm really enjoying. Um, I will say it is a bit buggy. I was surprised at how many bugs were in the game. Even now that we're past like 1.2, it still tends to have a decent amount of bugs in it. And that's a little bit worrying. Hopefully they're going to fix some of the stuff, but I've seen people with flying bailers. The, the forklift physics are still pretty bad. They're better than they were, but they're just, I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more. But the graphic upgrade is incredible. I mean, the, the game really does look a lot better. Um, it makes 17 look cartoony in comparison. Uh, the downside is on the Xbox, it's pretty crappy looking. I don't know how it is on the PS4, but... People were saying it's not much better than the Xbox, but on the PC, it's just gorgeous looking. So if you have a good PC, the, X, the, the PC version is the way to go. Plus the 60 frames a second that almost never stops. I don't think, I've, except for when I was running the server and running like 10 people on the server, I wasn't seeing any any lag at all in the game. Still don't, so. I'm sure we'll have maps come out that push it to the limits, but right now it's running really smoothly, so. Let's just finish this up, and then we'll call it a night for this episode. We're almost done. And then tomorrow we'll collect it. Well, in the next episode, it'll still be today, but uh, we'll collect the, the material and put it in our barn for storage. And once we have a nice stockpile of materials, we'll buy our animals and start feeding them. Um, but until then, we'll work our way towards it. Like I said, we're going to make the next thing that we're going to do is make a big silage crop. Uh, using corn. We'll rent a larger tractor and that corn silage cutter and cut all the corn. That's going to be a project. Um, and then we'll start planting uh, maybe two or three rounds of soybeans to get ourselves back up to two, three hundred thousand dollars. Um, maybe two hundred thousand is a good, good limit. And then we'll start buying some animals. But uh, we've got a ways to go before we get to that point. Uh, but we do need to get some oats and stuff in stocks so that we have food to feed our animals when they show up. I might even buy a horse or two now. Because we can make some hay and some and we, we, and we will have some oats so we can feed the, those horses. As soon as that harvest in the back is ready, I'll probably buy two horses and we'll start working on the horses because we want to be able to um, sell those sooner than later. We might even only have the horses for a couple days, get a bit of a profit on them and then sell them and keep doing that. Instead of waiting the full 10 days, we can sell them after like four or five days. We won't get as much of a profit, but we'll do like two, keep them for three days, and then do two more and keep them for three days. And we'll just rotate them like that until we can afford to buy more. Um, but that'll bring a little bit of income in. So I think three or four days is the point where you start making a couple thousand dollars. So we'll take a look at that and figure that out. But all right, so we have the Fields Wind Road. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go ahead and put the wind roar away, and I will catch you for the next exciting episode of Maypole Farm. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and we'll see you again on Farm Sim 19. Bye.